My name is Annie Sturveis and I live here with my family and we live in Pasadena, California on a fifth of an acre, what we call, like to call our urban homestead. We like to call this project Path to Freedom because it's a journey towards a sustainable present and a future. We're trying to make a free system within our little homestead. The freeway is just right over there. We have a major street, we're right by Old Town Pasadena, another freeway comes through here, so we're smack dab in two, between two freeways. We're on a fifth of an acre here, but a tenth is cultivated, so our property is 66 by 132, so we're an average, typical Pasadena home. The front yard is 95% edible, instead of watering grass. We figure water something that's going to give us something. Our uh, tenth of an acre garden, which is close to the front in the back property, produces 6,000 pounds of organically grown produce annually. I can see this one. This one's huge. You can see the blackberries coming on. They're really ripe and big. And uh, so we have strawberries and artichokes, Swiss chard, kale, guavas, mulberries, elderberries, sages. I always think, imagine if how much food, I mean, how much land, I mean, you could be doing 60 tons on just one block. But we're proving that, you know, you, that city can have life. So after the gardening, we went to um, energy. 12, 12 panels we have on our garage that feed there our house and, and give us two-thirds of our electri electricity uh, needs. This is the heart of the system. This is what they call an inverter. It takes the, the power from the photovoltaic cells and convert it to use for AC into our house. We're now producing like here today was about eight, eight kilowatts. We might only use six kilowatts so we can bank two, two kilowatts that we send back to the, to the city and, and uh, get a credit for. We also use compact fluorescent lights all throughout the house, so that's, that's another a simple step that you can do. They're available everywhere. They're cheaper now than they've ever been before, and uh, the city helps you with giveaways. In addition to using solar power, uh, what we ended up doing is, is uh, contracting with the city of Pasadena to purchase green power for an extra two cents a kilowatt. This is our solar oven that we homemade, that we built out of scrap plywood and, and uh, pieces of, of aluminum foil and a, a glass plate and some cookie sheets for the interiors. 200 uh, plus degrees. We're cooking rice for a meal tonight. So uh, it was just built just to give us free energy, not, not, to, not to heat up the house. And uh, it takes, we, we did a, you know, it depends on this. This didn't take long, but we just, it doesn't, it doesn't burn, so you can just leave it out until you're ready. This is our attempt at being like a Gilligan's Island. We made this out of scrap fence that was being thrown away and came up with an idea to uh, water the plants out here by taking a shower. Uh, the water uh, drops on the ground and we have a fig tree back here and some bananas and, and vines and, and some plants here that, that'll be watered off, off when we take a shower. This is very low tech. <laughs> this is very, very low tech. Just using the black hose. So we'll get scalding water out of that and uh, just with on a sunny day. So that's free, that's free uh, energy for us to heat water instead of, instead of uh, having electricity heated. Uh, the sun ho heats the hose directly. We home brew our own biodiesel out of waste vegetable oil here. And we found that uh, biodiesel burns good as, as a, a fuel for, for lamps. So this is a, something we would use at nighttime to be entertained uh, and we had parties at night. This is, smells like a burning vegetable oil like you would be cooking. So, and it's cleaner, it's, it doesn't pollute. You won't see any black smoke. Thank you.